Welcome to another video about mobile network testing. This is the third video in a small series around Network Performance Score. The Network Performance Score rates the quality and the performance of a mobile network. Its methodology is harmonized in Etsy to be able to compare the results of different measurement campaigns. This time I will show you a demonstration of the Rodo and Schwarz Network Performance Score that is implemented in our Smart Analytics software platform. So let's have a look to our graphical user interface. On the left side you see the network performance score, the overall figure that describes the quality of a network. And you see here three operators differentiated by the color code. On the right side you see uh, the data score and the voice score and you see that this figure goes up to 600 for data and 400 points for voice. And this is uh, the, the weighting already that voice uh, get, get, gets less value 40% against data with 60%. If I scroll down, you see the voice KPIs, you see the call drop rate and the call setup success rate, which uh, are the service availability. Concerning call setup time, you see three KPIs, the average, you see the greater 15 seconds, which is awarding a low number of very bad samples, and you see the call setup time 10th percentile, that is awarding a very high number of very low call setup times, so very good samples. You see as well the third criteria here, which is the voice MOS. This is a speech quality, the listening quality. Again, you see here the average. You see here the MOS uh, smaller than 1.6, which is uh, awarding a low number of very bad samples. And you see as well voice MOS 90th percentile, uh, which is awarding um, a high number of very good samples. And here you see a difference. Now basically in all other KPIs, uh, the green and the dark blue operator are very close to each other, but in voice MOS 90th percentile you see a clear difference. If I scroll further down for the data KPI, you see what contributes to the network performance core in data, which is first HTTP throughput. And you see here that only downlink has been tested. Again, you see the average, the 10th percentile and the 90th percentile. Uh, and you see uplink, no samples here, so uplink uh, seems to be not, not tested in, in this measurement campaign. If I scroll further down, you see video. Video is a very important service in mobile networks. You see the success rate, you see again uh, the setup time, the time to first picture, and you see the video MOS, which is really the quality of the video itself on the smartphone. You see as well browsing success, uh, that is very important as well. Browsing, you see a lot of points you can gain here in browsing because this is as well a very important service in mobile networks. And again, social media it hasn't been tested here, uh, so no points for this. So in fact, we have to, to uh, subtract from the 1000 points maximum, right about 120 points, so that the score that you see on, on top of that graph here, 800 out of 1000 has to be more or less 800 out of Around roughly 880 points. So the overall score should be, should be better here. But it's visible in the tool that uh, some of these services were not tested. Next category that I wanted to show you is voice calls. So service availability, which is uh, call setup success rate, call drop rate, and the, the, the subtraction here is call success rate. That looks pretty similar for all the operators. The call setup time is the next, and you see here a clear uh, indication that the light blue operator is worse than the others in call setup time. You see here eight seconds versus uh, four point something seconds for the other two operators. On the right side, you see the median call setup time by service, and this is very important. You see CS circuit switched, CSFB, which is circuit switched fallback, uh, single radio voice call continuity, and you see VOLTE, voice over LTE. And here you see the clear differentiation. Circuit switch is clear, that is the voice service at 2G and 3G. And you see CS fallback, which is um, a thing that the phone is locked in in LTE. And when the phone call is received or should be initiated, uh, the phone has to leave LTE and has to set up a call in 3G or 2G. This means a circuit switch call and therefore it's called circuit switch fallback. These two steps, of course, that need additional time. And this you see here basically in that figure. Yeah? SRVCC and VOLTE, they are pretty quick, so around 4.5 4 seconds here. 
I scroll further down and then I see the call attempts per call mode and here is the reason why the call setup time of the light blue operator is worse because you see that the vast majority of the samples here, 5,700 samples here, they are running on CS fallback. Yeah? Whereas all the other, the two other operators, uh, green and dark blue here, they have the majority or vast majority of the calls in Volti. Yeah? That means uh, CS fallback, the light blue operator has to use CS fallback. There is no Volti, uh, no CS, no SRVCC installed in this operator and that basically results in a disadvantage in uh, the call setup time. If I scroll further down, you see the distribution function of uh, the call setup time. A distribution function is always very important because you see the number of samples in versus in the period of over the period of times. So this is very important and here you see clearly uh, that the light blue operator has his maximum here around seven and eight and nine seconds call setup time, whereas the others are around five seconds. So four, three, four and five seconds. Let's come to the call to the listening quality. Uh, listening quality is represented in the MOS figure, mean opinion score on a scale from one to five. Five is excellent and one is very bad. Uh, as well here, the median uh, MOS, and here you see Polkar. Polkar is the voice quality standard. Um, and here you see as well operator, a dark blue operator has significant advantage here uh, with 4.6 in the median versus 4.2 in the green and 3.8 for the light blue operator. What is the reason for this difference in voice quality and listening quality? You see on the right side, the listening quality by codec. And here you see AMR, which is adaptive multi-rate codec, AMR wideband, uh, the EVS, enhanced voice services, a very new codec in LTE, and the EVS AMR wideband interoperability mode. Again, a uh, uh, new codec here in, in uh, LTE. So what you see here that is that the dark blue operator is the only one who has EVS installed in his network. Um, and that basically translates into this gain in speech quality and listening quality. Because you see here in, in Volti and in SRVCC, in Volti in particular, you see uh, the strong uh, gain here in the MOS figure and the speech quality because mostly EVS is used in the dark blue operator. Again, on the speech quality, the distribution function here, and you see a clear gain here for the dark blue operator. Most samples are in the range of 4.6 and 4.7 MOS which is very high, very good quality. You see that the green operator has its peaks at 4.2, 4.3 MOS figure. Um, and the light blue operator has its peak around 4, 4, 1, 4, 2. Yeah, and that explains basically the difference in voice quality. If you would now look to the 90th percentile here in this, in this graph, you see a significant difference. So the dark blue operator would result in a, in a 90th percentile MOS figure of 4.65. The light green, the green here is, is 4.25 and the light blue operator would be at 4.15. Yeah, so there's a clear differentiation in the speech quality and uh, therefore the dark blue operator has a benefit here. The reason for this is because uh, the dark blue operator is using EVS most of the time. If we go back to the NECBA performance score figure for voice. Here you see that uh, the green and the dark blue are pretty pretty close uh, to each other, but they are only very few points. And uh, if the green operator would introduce Volti, uh, including EVS in his network, he would immediately close the gap or even surpass the dark blue operator. That means that even this quick overview in our smart analytics tool gives indications what can be improved in the networks. If we do such measurement campaigns for our customers, a report will be created that also contains recommendations for actions to improve the score. You also see in the tool that you always have the overview about how many points you can gain. What is the potential for this specific KPI? So let's move on with data applications. And maybe I have to add, uh, I'm working here just with a graphical user interface connected via LAN to a server somewhere. Uh, on a database that is 250 gigabyte thick. So the responsiveness of the tool is pretty good. Data applications, you see a very high success ratio, um, 99 point something, so this is, which is very good. You see that most samples are done via LTE. So data calls, data connections, mostly via LTE. 
you see as well social media, um, Facebook creating posts and creating pictures in Facebook, uh, the number of samples on the left side, and of course the success ratio, which, which is very, very high, 99% for all the operators. So there's nearly no difference for all operators here. We see the browsing performance. You see typical, uh, typical server, typical, typical sites, websites that you need to browse. And you see the average duration on the left side uh, for, for these specific websites. And you as well see here, all operators are very close to each other. So there's nearly no real difference apart from one specific website here. On the right side, you see the uh, application throughput. And here you see differences. Yeah? That uh, dark blue operator goes close to 60 megabit per second, whereas the others are at 40 or 23 megabit per second in average. I move to video streaming as another example. On the left side, you see uh, the count of video streams. So we have really 3,000 video streaming tests for, for all three operators. And they are mostly completed, as you see on the right side. Uh, you see the average MOS, this is the video MOS, again on the MOS scale, median opinion score scale from 1 to 5. And you see here, basically all operators are even very, very close uh, together with the video performance. Scrolling down further, you see the test status, uh, most in LTE, you see a freezing ratio for video. Freezing is a very important topic as well, and you see here just a freezing ratio of 1.6 to 1.8 percent, which is very good again. Time to first picture, you see the average time to first picture here. Again here, no real difference between all the three operators. So 1.5 seconds, it's a pretty, pretty good uh, result here. You can see from the data applications, browsing, social media, video streaming in particular, that all three operators in the country are mostly using LTE, and the scores are very similar. The reason is that this measurement campaign was done in a well-developed European country. So summing up again, back to the network performance score, you see around about 800 points out of 880, you remember. Um, you see voice calls, uh, voice performance, very close together, little bit advantage for the dark blue operator, and you see the data, applications, all operators very close together. Um, and this, again, this is a developed European country, um, very good scores here and from our experience in other continents like in Africa for many, many countries, we also are aware of much lower scores here. I hope that you got a first impression about the network performance score and the implementation in our Smart Analytics software platform. Smart Analytics is the new generation web-based analytics software from Roland Schwarz. It offers advanced features to get more value out of the collected data and deeper quality of experience centric insights with less manual intervention through the automated features. So thank you for watching, be smart and see you next time.